on the take gangsters we are back again with another video and today man we're gonna change a little bit i've asked you to give me some of your questions on instagram and today i'm gonna do my best to answer to you guys so without further ado let's get into it what's the best online place to find people to work with well nowadays i truly do believe that there's no person that doesn't use instagram and i truly believe that instagram is the best social media platform where to collaborate where to network where to get to know people and to do business obviously <clears throat> there's a lot of other social media such as facebook tiktok um, linkedin bro, like any any social media platform that you might think of but i really feel like instagram is this like this large room of people where everyone is connected each other it's like it's this large hall where there's other separated rooms where you can connect with people depending on the type of interest that you have and type of shit the networking opportunities uh collaborations all that stuff bro happens through literally an instagram dm no cap so yeah man definitely instagram is the way to go second question what's the best way to connect with local producers so this one right here i really feel like is very similar to the first question however the only difference is in this circumstance there's the human relationship which is so important which goes way beyond like the online friendship the online relationship that you might have with another person in real life bro you actually need to be out there actually go where this shit is happening so if you want to connect with producers or even artists of your local area you need to be where the scene is actually moving so you need to go there in those places where this shit is happening when you need to talk with people you know share thoughts ideas project whatever thing that you think will, could be <clears throat> you know valuable to build a relationship with and also the cool thing about meeting people in person is that you also build a relationship out of a genuine connection like a genuine human connection and bear in mind that you can actually become friends with that person with, with those people you know at the end of the day bro like doing business there's always a percentage of luck but the closer you get to a place where the shit is happening the luckier you're gonna get it, it is just out of common sense go aside link up with people talk with people share ideas share knowledge share experiences and you're gonna find producers artists opportunities and whatsoever next question which is what's the best way to gather artist emails slash send emails for placements bro this question is actually one of the ones that i gotten the most so the very very first thing that i always do me myself which is bro for real man i don't care about the size of the artist i really do not care about the number of followers or bro literally not i will go to the dm of the artist of the instagram dm and I will literally write yo bro where i can send you beat i don't care if it has 10k followers or he has fucking 10 million followers i don't care because you never know who's gonna answer to you you might not believe it but artists actually look through their dms any person that has a large amount of, amount of followers it still checks out his dms so yeah man go through the ads <clears throat> literally type yo bro where can i send you a bit obviously the chances of you getting a reply uh, out of a big artist are slim to none so the very next thing that you should be doing is to find people that are surrounding that artist so you should look for the manager producers that you can tell that are connected to the artist that are very you know very uh very close to the artist that get a lot of placements with that artist and also a &Rs. And bro, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Even people, I, even random people that you can tell are kind of friends with the artist, bro. Me personally, it that never worked like that. Um, but I've heard from people, producer friends that I have, that will literally hit up. I don't know, man. Even the barber, bro. No cap. Even the barber, and it will literally try to get the beats sent to the artist through the friend, bro. It's just crazy. But it actually works. So yeah, look for people that are surrounding the artist uh yeah obviously the manager and the producers are actually the best ones there's the a and r as well so with the manager obviously you wanna you still wanna evaluate people so for example for the manager you wanna uh 
I wouldn't necessarily tell him, yo bro, where I can send beats to the artist. I would literally tell him where I can send you beats, like to the manager, because obviously the manager, he doesn't sing, but the artist does. So you will basically, it will basically be the, the, the middleman between the art between you and the artist so yeah same thing with the a r but obviously with the a r you will get the email um of the of the a r and it's pretty much the same thing as for the manager you will still do the middleman between you and the artist but it still is a very doable way to to get a placement with an artist and then there's a producer again you will still get the producer's email but it still is a contact to get through the artist because if the producer has worked a lot of times with that particular artist the chances of you getting a placement with that artist are very high so because the artist trusts the producer sound so if you got the opportunity to collaborate with that producer obviously the chances of you getting a placement with that artist are you know they increase and then for the second part of the question which is how to send emails for placements for that part right there bro what i always do is to make a pack of five beats and every every week either once or twice a week i will send out those five beats to the biggest list of artists that i have obviously you should always do your best to keep your email list updated and pretty much they say you make these five beats you get this pack and you literally drag them into the email and you you put the subject of the email like i don't know like uk slash new york drill beats by i will literally tag at stappers like my instagram handle and i will say like yo i got some fire for you same bullshit i literally every week i will say the same shit like yeah yo, yo it's fire for you here's new hit for you type of shit you, you drag the five beats in and also you drag the disclaimer because you want to make sure that in case anything happens you got your butt safe as in with the disclaimer you gotta put like these beats are not free if you wanna if you actually want to monetize out of them you need to purchase a license all that kind of nonsense which is important though it is not nonsense it, i always do my best to put that as well and yeah man you do that and you send out and they say you do that once or twice a week pretty much and yeah pretty much that's what i do that's what i've done so far to get placements and yeah it had it had paid off so yeah this is my advice for you bro so next question bro help us to grow drill type beats channel make a tutorial about thumbnail and editing and everything so me personally i've actually tried the type beat channel thing however i really feel like there's come into place too much the luck factor of the algorithm because obviously i mean bro personally this is literally based on my own personal experience uh it is very 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 unpredictable you might disagree with me but the luck factor which is the algorithm pretty much is very bro you, you can you cannot get too much away from it because you might be consistent you might have the cleanest thumbnails you might be whatever thing the best even the beats might be crazy as fuck but there's literally a lot of other type beat channels that their beats are trash literally beats are trash the, th the thumbnail is trash and the B is very, very average. And sometimes you will even hear the B, you will even hear the airway out of key, but it will still make crazy, craziest numbers of views. So I don't know, man, I can't lie to you. Based on my own personal experience, there's too much of the, of the luck factor. However, if I were to give advice on how to grow a type B channel, it will it is definitely to be consistent and to upload as much as possible even though you might see channels that are literally uploading once every i don't know four or five days and i'll still get mad amount of views i don't know what to say bro the only advice that i will still give you is to is to fucking double down the effort of others like upload as much as you can literally as much as you can by still not degrading the quality obviously you still not have to degrade the quality of the video of the b of the thumbnail of everything like the quality still needs to be on point and the quantity needs to be so high like the volumes needs to be so high because bear in mind that you are competing for the space in the algorithm you should be putting out as many videos as possible and you should be putting as much effort into the quality of the thumbnails the video the beat and everything 
and yeah man i am hope for the best because like i said for me it it is a lot of luck factor so so yeah man so for the next question which is related to the one that i just answered to which is also teach us what tags should we use for type beast channels because tags are important bro let me tell you something i don't think that they are that important because i've seen a lot of channels doing very 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 good for themselves without even putting the tags in the videos so tags are yes important maybe i don't know i can't i can't really tell you for for sure so but what i would recommend you doing is to copy the tags that other channels are using other channels in your niche are using copying and paste them and try to maybe you know swap the words and you know try to give it your own touch up shit but actually man it is not necessarily that's not necessarily the the reason why the video could or the channel could blow up it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't mean anything uh what i will suggest you like again the thing that you should be doing for sure that like, that is no negotiable is to upload as much as possible if you can upload if you can upload twice a day and i'm not even joking go ahead obviously i don't think that there's a lot of people that will be able to do it but if you can upload multiple times a day so fucking be it so fucking be it the competition is very 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 high there's a lot of people that upload a lot of uh a lot of beats like the type beat the type beat channel thing or nowadays bro is so fucking saturated like crazy but it doesn't mean that it is not doable i might bro i might even try tomorrow to open a type beat channel and literally doing it from scratch but i don't know man you just need to experiment but one thing for sure is to stay consistent as much consistent as possible while still maintaining the quality of the video so the beat needs to be on point the thumbnail needs to be on point and the whole thing like make it make it as clean as possible and upload as many beats as you can but obviously it is not guaranteed that you're gonna make it because that's what's up unfortunately so next one can you explain song registering so for song registering it is pretty simple as in you need to understand which company does the registration in your country for example in us there's ascap in the uk there's prs you need to understand which company does this service in your country and basically what you need to do is to register as a user and then you're gonna be able to bro you're gonna have like a portal where you'll be able to register the title the of the composition the how many people have actually contributed for the composition you got you're also gonna be able to put the royalty split and all the stuff which is pretty important and you also have the opportunity to register the work to get it you know to get the copyright the, you know to get the copyright out of it and you know to actually make sure that if anything happens you are you are able to demonstrate that that is your work even though realistically speaking you don't necessarily need to register everything you do like for example you don't have to register your beats to demonstrate that they are that they are yours because you have the project like because as soon as the beat is made whatever thing that comes out of your computer at the end of the day that is your work you don't need anything to to confirm to qualify your work as your work however with songs yeah it is common practice doing it just understand which company does that same service uh in your country so if you are in us use ascap if you're in the uk use prs and that that's all about it bro and uh, you'll go, you're gonna have a portal where you're gonna be able to put the title the, the length of the composition like i said before the people that are worked in the that have worked in the in the in the in the song and the royalty split and that's pretty much it so as simple as next question which is how to ask artists split 50 percent publish with us uh well it really depends on the size of the artist obviously the bigger it is the smaller your percentage is gonna be so if you're working with small artists it is very very easy to get a 50 percent you might you might you might for example propose them to instead of getting an advance from the b you could just offer him a 50 percent out of the revenue of the streams of the song so you're not paid for the b 
by your pay from the streams which in some cases man it makes a lot of money it really makes a lot of money you never know bro just propose it to him obviously bear in mind that asking for such a thing with a big artist it is never a good thing to do because you might even not be able to get another opportunity to work with him in the future because he might be like bro why would i want to split 50 percent with you if you if i'm this big and you are this small like it doesn't make any sense but if you feel like you're working with an artist that is pretty much it's the same level or it might even be big like even even significantly even significantly bigger than you but it's, it is not that big yeah man go for it Just in when you're negotiating with him instead of asking for the advance you might be asking for the 50% split or you might even be asking for an advance like a small advance let's say for example that for a B you will normally charge I don't know uh, let's say for an unlimited lease you might be offering I don't know 500 normally 500 let's say that you might be doing I don't know 200 or even 150 but you want to have the 50% of the of the split so you might do something like that so yeah it actually it actually works with smaller artists or not too big artists but obviously it also come into place uh your size as producer as well for example i'm not gonna say the artist just for privacy and professionalism but i had this big artist like really really big artist which i was able to split 50 percent but i didn't get um but i didn't get the advance for the for the b in some cases it is actually better getting the 50 percent split rather than getting the advance because artists tend to be more likely to be you know be open to work with you in the future if you don't necessarily ask for money obviously don't undervalue yourself if you can get an advance and also on top of that the 50 percent split or the 50 percent split and on top of that a little bit of advance bro go for it but if you got the opportunity to just get the 50 percent split man trust me that sometimes it really is worth it so yeah man be smart about it very 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 smart question though very very smart question because a lot of time people just want to get the money instead of building a relationship a long-term relationship with artists managers type of stuff but with this type of approach trust me that you can you can make wonders so yeah man good question one of the smartest one i've gotten so far next one i make good beats but it's difficult to get them to the right artist brother honestly i wouldn't even i wouldn't even bother like that me personally i don't make beats for artists i make beats because i like making beats and then if the artist decides to up on the b oh bro that's the cherry on top of the cake as in i don't think that you should crave for placements you shouldn't be chasing placements well let me explain you should be enjoying making the music and if eventually the artist works wants to work with your stuff bro let's fucking go what i do me personally bro i make the music that i want to make and when i get a pack of five beats like i said before when I get a pack, I'll just send them out to the to the whole list of it, of artists that I have. I don't care what style is that, bro. For real, for real, I do not care. Literally, I do not care unless I'm looking forward to actually get a placement with a specific artist or a specific number of artists that have a similar style similar style of music. I make the music that I want to make. I don't care about the artists. I, I absolutely I've never cared about it and I I don't think I I'll ever will. I enjoy making the music and I'm going to keep making the beats and the music that I want to make. I don't care about the artists. Like I said before, if you want to work with a specific artist in that circumstance, the best thing to do is to make these beats that I they are properly suited for the artist other than that i don't think that you should be that you should be chasing it, chasing them like that i think that it is best to make the music that you like collect the emails and still send out beats because realistically speaking the sound of the artist the style of the artist is so fucking reliant on the style of the beat which is basically the style of the producer 
or the producers like the circle that's the small circle of producers that make that style of beat if you want to get a placement from an artist like that specific artist or a specific number of artists that have similar style of beats make beats accordingly to that style otherwise keep your style obviously improve it as much as possible like getting get it to a quality right proper high standard quality and keep sending out stuff keep sending out beats and eventually i think you'll be able to get some artists to work on your stuff next one can you be friends with other producers as well outside of business man of of course yeah of course those ones are the best relationships to have because you are both helping each other you know iron sharpens iron and uh, yeah man definitely you can help each other leveling up you can help each other with networking because there's always you know there's always a number of producers a number of opportunities that you might have that the other person don't have doesn't have but it's also the other way around there's a lot of literally there's a lot of opportunities that i've had just for the sake of knowing some other person like knowing from a you know more uh human perspective like proper friendship type of stuff so yeah man absolutely whether whether it is online or physical or like proper face to face in the real world yeah man absolutely absolutely and bear in mind that um the more your friends with producers the more you're gonna have opportunities networking it is not just networking like it is a friendship in business but it can also be a friendship or a proper friendship if you vibe with the person even even if it's just work like even just by dealing with that person from a business perspective from a business perspective real recognizes real as in you you can tell that there's a certain synergy between you and the other person to the point where it gets like outside of business like before you know it you're just talking about literally bullshit just because you are vibing with that person and those type of relationships are the ones that are the best because you're working but at the same time you're vibing with another person so yeah man definitely 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 you can definitely be friends with our producer so next question which is how to improve in mix and mastering beats practicing 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 and referencing actually referencing and practicing 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 take another producer's beats that you feel like has a lot of quality like the quality is nuts and try your best to replicate the same type of you know level of the sounds and eqing pretty much mixing people make it very very tough but it is very simple like at the end of the day it's just eqing you just need to eq take out the frequencies that you don't need for example in the counter snare let's say that there's a lot of there's a little bit of frequencies in the low end for example and you don't want them to clash with the kick and the airway you just put an eq and you cut those frequencies at the low end and pretty much that's it and same thing for the melody you don't want to have the low end of the melody you always want to cut it out because you don't want it to clash with the airway and the kick and uh, for example the kick and the airway me personally i like to say chain him every time like i cannot remember i can literally not recall any beat where i haven't side chained the airway with the kick because i just feel like it sounds a lot better when it's side chained and yeah man it's pretty much it but obviously there are no rules when it comes to mixing and every type of beat is different it requires a different type of mixing but try to try to find the style of mixing or a type of uh try to find the producer that has a lot of quality in his mixing or has a mixing that you like and you like to replicate in your beats type of stuff and literally learn out of it you know for example the kick you know you want it to be loud if you're making drill for example and the snare as well you want it to be properly heard whereas for example the melody might be quiet same as for the counter snare you don't want it to be too loud uh but it also depends that's for me for example that's the way i like to mix my stuff but for you it might be different so find a producer that has the style that you're looking to get out of your beats and try to replicate the same thing as simple as this but yeah guys we've come to the end of the q a session i mean it was it was a nice one i've seen very very good questions obviously there's a lot more questions that i received but there were but there were questions that 
had been answered through all other questions or questions that were literally similar for example the question of how to get in touch with artists and managers how to send up beats bro i had that question like 10 times bro so yeah <clears throat> it would have made no sense to answer to those questions uh repeatedly however uh thanks a lot for the questions guys um i hope that i've provided some further value as always if you've enjoyed today's video make sure to subscribe to the channel make sure to follow me on instagram at steppers bro make sure to leave a like leave a comment because if you guys have other questions i might even answer them in the like in the next tutorial just for the sake of you know answering questions uh so so yeah man it was a nice one i really appreciate it i really enjoyed it and i see you on the next time bye